Hello guys, Damodoc A2 here. Now I know I said we would be trying to build the uh, tank with a dock turret on it. And uh, fortunately that's going to have to wait because I made a bit of a boo-boo. Um, I wouldn't fudge things. That volume is way too high for ashes. So we're going to have to trim some fat here. So I thought I would take this as a learning opportunity to show you guys some useful ways that you can try to slim down the volume for ashes. So first off, I'm going to tr start by removing all this oblique armor. It was mainly just for aesthetics, but it's not really necessary. This won't really buy a whole lot of uh, volume, but uh, it's a start. Oops. Now, while I'm doing this, uh, there's something I want to mention. Um, one of the things that we're going to try doing here is a lot of these metal slopes here. Uh, we're going to be, I mean, not metal slopes, but uh, metal beams. We can actually change those over to heavy armor. Now, let's uh, just have a quick look at the stats here. A slope has 3,000 health and 60 armor. Now if we go over into metal here and look at a, the stats of a metal beam, the slope of heavy armor has 50% more armor and almost twice the amount of health. So it makes it a pretty good trade. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab these 4 meter heavy armor slopes and we're going to install them here on the bottom of the vehicle. This is a great way to re reduce your uh, volume. Oops, I think I fudged that. There we go. Okay, so the way I want to go about doing this is something like this. Let's see here, do like that, and like that, and we can keep going down the length of the tank doing this. But I don't think we'll, well actually all the more reason to do it right here. I think though I want to use the actual beams here because, yeah, AI is pretty important. But the rest of it we can continue to do in the slopes. I think I want to try doing it this way, make it look a little bit more interesting down here. There we go. That will increase the cost though, because that's like 50 materials, and this over here is only like 20 materials. But uh, to get it within the volume limits, I think it's worth it, and it increases the durability fairly significantly fairly well so yeah I would argue those are pretty good reasons to be doing this all right let's see what that brings our volume to oh yeah that took a huge chunk out of it and we can still keep going I 
uh, it doesn't really look like there's any real components back here that need to be protected that all that well. So we could probably leave most of that exposed, but we'll go up here and I'm going to grab a metal three meter beam here. And we're just going to do like that, just so we can have the illusion that that's a complete wall there. Uh, this space right here, that's perfectly fine. Uh, just want to remind you guys that this is a backline craft. So all that is it going to be very necessary. But a trick that we can do right here is we can use a decoration to hide this back here. So. We're going to go grab us a metal beam. And just move it up here. Going to go left and right scale it to seven. We're going to move it down. full meter. There we go. Now you wouldn't have even known that there was nothing there. We can leave this open. Uh, this kind of uh, pit back here, that was just uh, mainly so the back of the gun, or the back of the cram cannon can go down in here if need be, so it can get better elevation. That's the only purpose why that is there like that. So let's see here, is there anything else I could do? Yes. I just spotted something. Spotted a few things actually. So another good way to go about doing this is just add some slopes to the outside. So a few good reasons for doing this. Um, for starters, it'll make things look a little bit more better. And secondly, it'll reduce your volume. It's a really simple, easy way to do it too, which is pretty nice. And we can take these and switch them over to the four meter slopes. I'll come back and get this here in a little bit. Since it's mirrored, we'll just come back in here and take that out and replace it. Another trick or a cheeky thing we could do is this. Since this isn't a very critical area, uh, it's perfectly fine to uh, go ahead and use a slope there instead of a full metal beam. So there's another thing that we can do here. Try to reduce volume. Is uh, the spalliner here made of these wooden slopes here? Yeah, we're just going to change those to a different type of slope that can cover basically the same area but take up less volume. So let me show you what I'm or show you guys what I'm talking about here. We'll go out here to wood and we're going to grab this one. The spa liner will still be able to cover the outside of the vehicle. And these will take up significantly less volume. Because you see right here, I guess it doesn't really show you how much volume it takes up. Okay. 
Let's open a wood, but uh, trust me, this is going to reduce volume significantly. I missed one. Nope, we're good. Yeah, that'll still work as a spall liner. So yay that. So over here. do the same thing. We'll just rip all this out. In that, in that. And then we can grab these since they fit in here just fine. There we go. So let's see how much volume that bought us. Oh yeah, tons of volume. That's excellent. Let's see here, is there anything else that I could do to try to improve this? I believe there is. This is another valid way to do it. Now for every uh, beam of metal that we're removing here, we're actually removing like a whole mm, well going from the slope uh, heavy armor we gain about uh, two cubic meters so yeah it it can add up uh, what else can we do I think I can make this a little bit more efficient Which we'll do like this. Oops. Didn't mean to do it that way. There. We just got a bunch more volume and uh, we still have a pretty good durability. And I think we can do this a very similar thing here with the uh, this box here that's containing the AI. We'll just go ahead and use heavy armor slopes for it as well. There we go. And I'm going to pull you out and you out and we're going to go for the 3 meter diagonal slope like that and over here like that. Uh, actually we may not even need that up there. Yeah, this would be perfectly adequate for what we're trying to do here. And I believe these over here is what we're hiding our ammo in. Yeah, it looks to be that way. Well, let's have another look at how much volume we have. Oh, we're getting warmer. Very, very nice. Okay. So, I think it may be worth it to switch the materials out that's uh, around the ammo storage here. And we're just going to do the same thing that we did with the AI. We're just going to wrap this in heavy armor slopes. Not exactly something that you have to do, but kind of recommended that you have some very sturdy material to do this. 2.4.9, uh, you could easily contain an ammo blowout with just metal, but I don't think that's the case anymore. But I think this significantly will uh, 
improve this as far as volume goes and also this kind of will act as a, a second spall liner so yay that uh, this area over here we could actually rip this out it doesn't really serve all that much of a purpose at the moment and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here into metal and we're just gonna use these square slopes again this is probably an area that's not gonna see a whole lot of action so yeah all right let's see where that got us on volume And hey, look at that. We are four cubic meters under our volume limit. And it hardly looks any different other than the uh, bit that we rounded off on the corners here. So, yeah, I'd just like to apologize for putting this up on the workshop and not having it uh, ashes ready when I stated that it did. So, yeah. But uh, next time for sure we'll be doing the uh, docked turret uh, tank tutorial. So I hope you guys got something useful out of this. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Damodaki 2. Uh, I will be uploading this to the Steam Workshop. So uh, yeah, have yourselves a hell of a day and keep your hammer high. Later.